Right, let's go over how to cheese the solo event and pick up all the compasses. Yes, it's the second video of the day. Yes, right, okay. So, first and foremost, there are two solo events that have now, hopefully, fingers crossed for all players, returned back. And I've had great joy in finding out the best ways in order to get them done. And I'm sure there's going to be some MCOC Andy that'll be like, no, it's actually really easy to do than you might think. And yeah, you're right. It actually is incredibly more easy than you might think. If, that's it, if you have an X-Men champion, that's the first thing. And secondly, have a six-star mutant to fight. Even better if they're lower. So what am I talking about? Well, we'll go over the, 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 the two methods that, or the one method that is the, the most easiest to do before going into how to do it via questing, arena, and other elements as well. So the quick thing to get out the elephant in the room, that again, the MCC Andes uh, that may be like, oh, we just do this, just do practice. Yes, just do practice. It works. If you have, as I said, an X-Men six-star and as well, well, you can do it with a five star, but it's just it's a quicker process to do it with um, uh, with with like other champ uh, with the respective champions. So click on practice. I should really actually just show that the points actually work, just to kind of be very clear. So yeah, uh, let's notice the solo solo event. Seventeen thousand points in X Men use for me. Five thousand three hundred for destroy all mutants. So seventeen thousand five thousand three hundred. Okay, noted it. You have done very good. We then go down to sort by mutants. The reason I'm not overly recommending uh, the the way of doing this by a practice is that sometimes it can be quite laborious to kind of repeat this method rather than doing something when it comes to auto fighting or more of a quick rotation and cheese method. We'll go over the numbers in a second of how many fights you need to do. Just but I just want to prove. To people that maybe kind of be like, well, is this going to be the right method for me? You have to kind of go like, blah, 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 swipe, 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 tap, 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 like this. There is a better method to doing this if you've already done the X-Men use side of things. Then you can use your strongest mutant. I'm emphasizing this because I'm like, then once you've done the X-Men use, there's no restrictions on having to take in an X-Men champion. You can use your, your strongest um, against this, but... You can do that. Take an X-Men champion against a six-star mutant in your roster by practicing. Which again, let's go into the solo events. Swiping down. 17,250. 5,600. So you can see that is a method of how it works. Yeah, as I said, practice is one method. But you do have to bear in mind you have to have the champions in order to be able to practice against them. That's one thing that is a thing. So it's not always applicable for everybody so give you an idea on points breakdown and I've put in the description a little bit of a write-up and a quick write-up of like the notes that I'm going to be using today as well as if you use a six star you do need to do 15,000 points it's 60 fights with a six star right so that's 60 times 250 equals 15,000 with a five star it's 75 fights which is 200 uh, per Per time which is 15,000 points yep and same thing with with four star. it's like it's 100 fights you need to do so 100 fights with a four star 75 fights with a five star 60 fights with a six star now let's go over the questing side of things yes you can do this in arena yes you can do a little bit of dueling but at the same time it may be more beneficial to do something like questing for me this morning I just auto fighted Rota Labyrinth like at the end of the day if you've got the normal difficulty like here just go down to normal and um, an auto fight. Same thing with heroic. Any of the one energy ones, like it's more beneficial. Like going doing uh, chapter one of um, of normal, heroic, whatever. You can find that yourself you've you've done with sixty fights. Done. Like just just quick right off the bat. So that's one method of doing it. This not doesn't mean that, that that's X Men use, right? That covers X Men used. So if you use a six star in those those particular fights, that's going to be uh, less than an energy refill. Yes, granted, it will be more than an energy refill for using a five star and like one and a quarter of um, of energy. But yeah, like as I said, like my favorite method, first of all, was clearing X Men use, and I went to Road to Labyrinth for that. I went to the first one, which is the round one, and I just used um, I, my six star rogue. If you've got whatever you've got, five star X Men. Or, or lower, you can do that. So that's what I did. One energy at a time, blasting through there. Auto fight whilst I got on with other stuff. Because at the end of the day, you may not want to just stick by your device just kind of constantly swiping. 
practice may not be the only method that you want to do. You may want to go down uh, a different route. And now you can see, like, at the point of recording this video, destroy all mutants. Now, once I've got X-Men use out of the way, the practice side of things actually makes more, more sense to me. Because what I can do right now is, because destroy all mutants is all about destroying mutants. So what, what can you do once you've destroyed all mutants? That's right. Use any strong champion of any class against that for practice. So you're not restricted. Yeah, what you can do is you can, and but do bear in mind, you have to fight more in expert muse than you have to do with destroy all mutants. So that's something to bear in mind right there. So even if you do use an X-Men champion against uh, against like a practice against a six star mutant, for example, or a five star mutant, you will have to do more for X-Men use, some more fights for that. But in any case, like the point still remains like uh, as soon as I've got X-Men use out of the way and I've got like weak six star mutants, which I haven't, you may even have one, is then I can use any champion I want. Like, I don't know, I'll take in I'll take in Doctor Doom. Let's just take in Doctor Doom to do the duel. And I'm getting the points. So this is what I'm talking about. Like, it's not just about saying, okay, well, let's go one way with this. Where you have to spend, um, you know, less time concentrating. You could even, like, it would be good if, like, practice an auto fight in. That would be really cool. Because I can imagine that on a very low kind of six-star mutant, you'd be able to kind of, like, cheese it and get through it. So that's, that's the other thing. If you don't want to constantly go through practice, you need options of places to go. Now, I've put in a description, but I'll just kind of like go over right now. There are some options. So, first of all, if you have the uh, Summoner Sigil, you could do the Golden Circle. So, as soon as you go in, there is a... Uh, and again, you know, I, because I've done X-Men use, I don't need to focus on anything else. There is there a six-star gold pool, which you can go and fight for zero energy each time. Right? So, that's one option. Also, you need other options. Okay, what what about an easier havoc? There's a harder there's a harder Namor to fight, and I'm sure there's some other in Cavalier difficulty you can fight down the line. If you go to uh, to back issues and go to uh, to variant four, to, to give you an example, there is a Namor in um, in 1.1. But uh, look, at the end of the day, this is like 155k uh, hit pull and strike back on it. So it's kind of like. Eh, let's not do that. But if you want to challenge, you want to challenge. My recommendation for those that want to get a six-star mutant fight with any kind of like without any kind of issues is actually to go to Event Quest, go to Uncollected, and funny enough, in Uncollected, Kabam have sorted you out with. And look, you know, it is a little bit of a stretch because it is a six energy. But at the end of the day, six energy for a what is well. 30k, just a bit but above 30k to be honest, 31k Havoc, right, isn't too bad of an interaction of a fight. Or you could just do practice. They're, those are your options really with it. But I think that these, um, you know, it's a cool option to go and do if you need a six star option to fight. One that's not overly stacked, but, you know, something you could defeat quite easily, especially with uh, champions. Not so much a nodes on it. What's it got? Kinetic transfer, enhanced special one. So, yeah, I put a load of mutants in. If you're worried about kind of getting knocked out, you know, put a load of mutants in, rotate around that. It's your choice. Or go and do arena. That's probably the only other thing as well. But do bear in mind you can use any champion now against it. If you've done X-Men use, then what you can do is destroy all mutants with any champion. Your god-tier champion, your strongest champ, uh, can be used uh, against this. Uh, but, yeah, that is, um, that's really it. There is a dueling option. You can use the duel, but I just don't think that that's kind of like good for your time. And as I said, like you can actually smash this out within a matter of well, you could do the um, the X Men use within twin, not twenty, but probably about like an, less than an hour. You could probably do destroy all mutants again in a slow. You could do it a lot quicker if you just did practice. But at the same time, if you want something where you don't have to concentrate so much on the screen, then at least you could say run auto fight for a little while. But uh, hey, you do you at the end of the day. If you do practice, good for you. If you can't do practice, then do the uh, the questing and a little bit of practice or just do questing completely if that's your bag, if that's your thing. At least with that, with that Havoc fight, if you've got a really strong champion that can auto fight it, then you can auto fight it. Or if it's like a team of like champions to auto fight it, even even bring in, you know, X-Men champions into uh, to fight against it does that as opposed to other ways. Yes, it would be a lot of fights, especially because it is going to be um it's going to be 50 fights that you'll have to do. 
And as well, like that would be um, 50 times six, that's 300, that's 300 energy, but it's up to you at the end of the day what you're doing. I'm just giving you options of what you can grind. But that's been the video. Thank you very much for watching this one and check out some other content. I'll have a couple more videos coming out today, but check out what is out on screen at the moment. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.